refugee camps, even if there was no conflict with Israel, are just uh, humanly horrible. They're so overcrowded. And you have 14 to 25 people living in a space. There's no place for children to be there. No streets, there are little alleys, no trees, nothing. This this is what has been fired on this area. This is a civilian neighborhood. There are no soldiers here. There are no there are no military installations here. This is strictly harassment to get these people to move away from the border so that the Israeli tanks can can move at will. They want these people cleansed from this area. It's that simple. And it's a way to get people to be humiliated and destitute again. In Gaza, you can see also the extent of house demolitions, much more extensive than in the, in the West Bank. The whole neighborhoods have been demolished. Hundreds of people do not have any houses anymore because they are next to settlements or next to the border, which is, of course, a clear violation of humanitarian law. People have no chance to get their personal items out. They have no chance to call for help. And this is far away from most media outlets. You are amongst the very few journalists who have even seen this. European or American journalists who have even been here because people are afraid to come or it's too hard to come. And one of the things we were told in Gaza by a very respected Palestinian uh, psychologist who had just completed a study of a thousand Palestinian children was that they had discovered that many of these Palestinian children no longer had a will to live. 
that they were so dehumanized and so affected by seeing their fathers particularly beaten by Israeli uh, defense forces that the psychological condition is one of the dimensions of the conflict that is not widely understood. 